All right, I will play with you, doll. Yeah, she kind of looks like Jeanette. It was not Teresa, because we're not very good at talking to people. But that's okay. They're not very good at talking to us. Ooh, a spa. Is it real lava? Will it burn us? Oh. Hi. You and me alone for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment. But there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Hmm. A motive. <laughs> How unexpected. Oh. I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really. The way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Hmm. Me? Draw attention? Under the looming shadow of Wormwood? <gasps> Never. Mm. This is gonna be interesting. I'm Velvet. Miss Valor will do. It's been months since I've Don't stare, folks. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, what would you like to know about me? Uh, sure. We have time to kill until it kills back. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. That sounds painful. Uh, more of the hunters than fingers. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. Hmm, that's one tiny hunter. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Hmm. Oh, uh, I know where this is going. I can make it so she never watches you and breathes dirt. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. Well, what kind of fabulous prizes do I win? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. Oh, we do like free food. Yummy, tell me how to claim this prize. You'd really be willing to do this for me. I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. Mmm, details? She works over at the Senbin now. Her hair's blonde, on the top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Hmm. Feed me answers first. Mm hmm. What is your fable, doll? Mm hmm. Uh, huh. How come you hide your true name behind a fabric, Susan? There's only one part of my body I don't want anyone entering. And that's my head. That other name. Never say it again. It belongs to a dead girl. Sorry, thoughts kind of forced their way in there. Uh, why are you hiding your past from me, doll? I'm not hiding my past. I'm not that girl. She was flawed. She was naive. She was nobody. 
and now she's dead. Let the dead rest in peace. My name is Vivi. Show yourself out. I'd like to say a prayer for someone I used to know. Look who's back. Oh. Dolly! That's Miss Valor to you. Hmm. Well, I still want to talk about stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're not going to talk about you. Tell me of Isaac's child. Ash, Isaac does so love him. We're like step siblings, Ash and I. But I think Ash is reckless. He's never been comfortable with what he's become. And he's getting careless. Hmm, tell me something else. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hollywood, what does this woman want me to do? Mingle, sightsee, chat, and me, of course. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Other details. Uh, let's try for the fable again. Mm -hmm. How come when the music starts, your clothes fall off again? I'm a dancer. Oh! That's strange. I never fall off when I do that. Tell me something else. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think there's anything else, so I don't think I said anything, so I'm gone. Ah, bye bye, Susan. Man, that was the most awkward form of self pity I've ever run into. Well, what can you do? She was a tour of your door, don't you know? That means she's pretty. And she likes art. Or in this case, volcanoes. Okay, to the sin bin to get rid of Chastity, who admittedly is making very little money, and now I think we all know why, don't we, children? Well, we're going to have to resolve this issue, and if we shouldn't use disciplines around her, well, I guess we'll just have to use disciplines around her. Okay, because we really don't listen. Uh, are you in here? Are you dancing? Oh, we don't want to... Which one is... Oh. I don't know which one is Chastity. There's two of them. There's a blonde one. And a brunette. I don't know. You fat guy. Gross. Uh, huh. Is there anything in here we can use? I think we're gonna have to consult the computer. Wait, what's this? Ooh, we can pick the change machine. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, more donations. Hmm, maybe we can lock out the peep show. Get the weirdos to leave. With sinner. Okay. Status. Window 1 malfunction. Override unavailable. Windows 2 and 3 are operational. Okay. Lockdown. There we go. Aww. He's not getting his peep show. No need to kick the wall. That's not civil. Okay. Alright, well now that we've got that taken care of... Is there anything in the inventory? No. Log file? Uh, it was dog something. Oh hell, I'm just gonna hack it. Oh, it's center again. Uh, chastity. That's the one we're looking for. 120. Okay, and anything in the private? That was dog show? Uh, whatever. Dirty dog. And that was Big Dog's farm. Okay, that's... That's enough. I think we did what we were supposed to do. Which got rid of the perverts. So maybe we can go in here. 
I don't know which one it is. Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Oh. Hmm. Kind of exercising our mental powers, saying, Bloom in another room, little flower, until I fly to you. Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. Yeah, you're gonna do that. <laughs> that was Dementimentation 3, Vision of Death. Well, she doesn't look so dead. Which I guess is good. Ow! Hey! Oh, I guess you got suspicious, didn't you? Oh, this is dumb. Oh, hey, that doesn't really seem to be working. Ow, ow, yeah, you really know how to fight, actually. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man, we need blood. Okay. Time to use our emergency. Oh, we don't have any blood points stored? This is so lame. We're gonna have to use some of our stuff. I'm gonna use one of these, one of those. Ow, that really hurts. Stop doing that, please. Ah, ah, no. More blood. Actually, we're gonna use two of these. No. No, 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 ah, oh, this is not going well for us. We really need to learn how to fight. This is kind of pathetic, actually. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to use the, the good stuff. And that's why we like the sword. Except we used up all of our blood packs. Oops. One thing that confuses me is why didn't our freaking Odie's chalice do what it was supposed to do? As you kill enemies, the chalice will fill with blood. Hmm. Okay. That ever. Well, we're just gonna have to go buy some. But either way, we took care of her, though. See, so you having fun in here? Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. Wait here, my limpid little flower. Because I am no longer here. Well, apparently closing that door was a big idea. That or she just kind of recognized us. Uh, she probably think it was suspicious when everything closed and her friend left and some creepy looking vampire person came in and tried to kill her Yeah, that probably would have got given it away just a, a little bit anyway Well, hopefully we'll get a decent reward from uh, old Vivi here for what we did After taking care of those problems at the sin bin Hi again. Look who's back. Doll. That's Miss Valor to you. Hmm, about the hunting one. Mm -hmm. Hunter haunted. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Hmm. She made our choice. It was her decision. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Hmm. Who can say? Well, no, I'm next to you and in your head. Mm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. 
Hmm. Stopping. Tell me something else, please. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll tell us your fable now? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess not. Did we get a reward from that? Like that whole blood doll thing we're definitely oh, looking oh, for? David Hatter. What? Pour him into what? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Hmm, he's in my head. No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? Uh, let me see... The comfy chair? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than 